Hi, I'm Jim, N4BFR, with the basics from the Hamtech library on dipole antennas. So if you're into HF, or even sometimes if you're into 6 meters or 2 meter antennas, you're going to want to build some antennas. And antennas can't get more basic, really, than the basic dipole antenna. So today, let me take you through what it takes to put together a dipole antenna. Now, the dipole antenna we're going to build today is going to be a 10-meter antenna, although it doesn't really make a difference. The principles are the same, uh, but we're going to pick the center frequency of 28400. That's where we want the antenna to be the most resonant, so the most accurate will be at 28400. And then from there, you will have some bandwidth to use on either side of that uh, as well. That will be within the range of uh, a good SWR. Now, to make this antenna, you want, uh, it will be 16 feet, 5 and an eighths across to be resonant, or on a single side, it will be 8 feet and just a little under 3 inches. So, I've cut a piece of wire here from some 16 gauge speaker wire that I have, and I've kept it together. So, the speaker wire has two conductors. I've kept that together uh, for the moment because it makes it a lot easier to cut one eight foot wire and be able to take it apart later and know your sides are equal as opposed to uh, trying to make two separate wires that are of equal length. So just a little uh, quick tip that uh, allows you to, to do it pretty simply if you're using speaker wire. Plus I got that for a buck so uh, I can cut it as much as I want. How do we get to the 8 feet 2.9 inches? Well, there's two ways to do it. Uh, you can go on to the West Mountain Radio website, and I'll have a link for that at hamtechlibrary.com, uh, and you can calculate the size of the uh, wire you're going to need for a uh, antenna. This one is 8 feet 2.9 inches for our 40 uh, or a 10 meter antenna. If we were going to do 40 meter antenna, it would be 32 feet on the side, just to give you uh, the concept there. So you can do that at the West Mountain Radio site, or you can do some math, and it's 234 divided by 28.4. That's the frequency, which gives us a one side of 8.239 uh, feet. So I took that calculation, and I cut this to 9 feet. Why did I cut it to 9 feet? Well, we're going to want to build some adjustability into it, as well as we're going to use up a little bit of that, uh, making some ends and some connections here. So let's start making the connections on this antenna. Here's a ballon that I uh, picked up and I showed in video 21. You can take a look at that. This is a one-to-one -one current ballon from MFJ. Uh, it doesn't have any points to do strain relief or to hang. So what I did was I just grabbed two uh, wire ties, uh, looped one around, and then uh, looped a second around that. So I'll be able to hang that in a tree and uh, be able to connect that up without uh, using the wire to do that. So as I mentioned about strain relief here, let's take uh, the two ends. And uh, all I've done here is I've uh, cut a little bit off each end and I've wrapped it uh, as a uh, uh, just a, a wire wrap. I didn't do any kind of soldering on this, uh, just wrapped it up. Uh, and I'm gonna use this uh, piece of wire tie to help with my stream relief. So we'll slide these under here and we'll connect these up to the posts. Uh, it's arbitrary. I'm using uh, the, the aluminum wire on the black side and the copper wire on the red side. That is just my own arbitrary decision and not every set of speaker wires will have different color um, different color lead in it. So uh, you can make that decision on your own, but it really is just connecting this to both binding posts and I'll separate it out a little bit because we know that we're going to make this go uh, either way. So we want to separate it out and now each end of the wire has got some strain relief. So if I'm pulling against it, uh, I'm not pulling against the connection here at the top where it's more fragile. I'm pulling against the side here and the wire tie that I uh, put on this. So it does help with some strain relief a little bit. So that's the ballon end. You would put your coax in the bottom of this and then connect that to your radio. Uh, hang that up in the tree 
and then or on the post or wherever you're going to connect that up to and then you go on to the the far end of the antenna and you'll see that here's the the bulk of the eight feet of the wire uh, but here i've marked out six inches in from the end of the of the wire so uh my nine foot wire i've used about uh three inches here so that leaves me eight feet six inches left to work with and i want to take another uh another few inches off of that so i've marked it off here at the end now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take one of these plastic rings uh, and i just got this from a piece of plastic that i had lying around you could use a bottle top or a milk a milk top or uh, any other piece you want but i wanted to make an insulator here so i'm going to put this on and loop it around and now i've got uh, not only strain relief for whatever string i'm going to use to hold this end of the antenna up in the tree but i also have some adjustments so i've got a little extra wire here let's say my measurement was a little bit off uh, or i wanted to convert this to be from uh 28 400 to 28 380 i could let this out a little bit make it a little uh make the antenna a little bit electrically longer and in which case uh then the um then the end of this would allow me to uh, still connect this up to a piece of string or whatever so when you're moving these in and out to adjust remember this if you make the antenna longer it's going to be resonant on a lower frequency so our 28 400 frequency uh, if we made it a little longer it would be resident on 28 380 if we made it a little shorter it might be resident on 28 uh, 440 so shorter is higher frequency longer is lower frequency that's a great way to remember that as you're adjusting your antenna so that's the way i make a dipole antenna it's the way I do it. It works for me. I hope it works for you as well. Read up. There's a lot of information on making dipole antennas online, but I hope this gets you started. If you like this, share it with another ham. And please like and subscribe for more videos because that's how we get to keep going. So 73 for now. I'll see you on the air. This is N4BFR for the Ham Tech Library.